using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt right here. We're gonna use our trim tool. Just connect our little battery retainer clip right here. Right here, we're gonna pull up on our battery clip. Use a 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to disconnect the positive side of our battery. Down inside, there is a 10 millimeter bolt we want to get to. Go ahead and use our magnet to go ahead and grab that. Remove this bolt. We have one further back here. And we have this one up top right here. Use your magnet to grab this one in the back. I'm gonna grab our cables right here. Just pop these out. Next, you wanna grab our air box and work this up and out. Take two. Just gonna pull up on the front portion right here. There's a little plastic post right here that presses into a rubber grommet right inside here. Right here, there's a sensor connector. I wanna press down on the button on the back, press it down, pull it off. I'm gonna remove this forward mounted bolt. I'm gonna remove this bolt here. Let's go ahead and remove this little retainer clamp right here. I'm gonna pop this hose off. Using an eight millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the upper cover. On the back side, bottom of the air box, there is a clamp. Right here, we wanna go ahead and loosen. That's an eight millimeter. Go ahead and pull this up and off of the throttle body. You remove your clamp and the rubber boot here. On the side of the base air box, you're gonna have a sensor right here. You're just gonna grab that unit and you're just gonna twist it and work it out. On the side of the intake tube, there's a rubber grommet. I'm gonna line this up and press your sensor in. Now we want to take our adapter right here. I'm going to work this onto the top of the throttle body. And just work that down into place. I want to take our hose clamp. I want to tighten this up a bit. The reason why I'm going to do that is when we line this up, we want to have it close to fitting snug down here. So when we go to tighten it up, we don't have a lot to do. So that slips right on over. We're gonna take it up a few more turns. We install it, we're gonna have the screw head facing the driver's side. And that 
fits down pretty good right there. Next, you want to take this spacer, it's threaded stud on each side. You want to find this mount right here. I'm going to thread that in. Now I'm just going to use a pair of pliers here just to snug that. We have our second hose clamp. We did tighten that up just like we did the other one. I'm going to drop that down on top here. We're now going to install our intake tube. I'm going to swing this around in the back. I'm going to try and feed our intake tube into the rubber adapter right here. Work that down. And at the same time, we're going to bring our slot onto the mount right here. Install our washer. Put our nut on the top, and we're going to go ahead and get that nut threaded. Just a few threads just to catch it. I want to go ahead and connect this connector, but it's a little short. There's a little retainer tab right here. We're going to use our trim tool remover. I'm just going to pop this clip right off. It's going to allow the flexibility of this harness to come on up, line this up, and plug it in. Now I want to go ahead and measure the pipe or the hose to connect from the valve cover to the intake. I'm going to use our tape measure. We're looking ballpark about four and three quarter inches. I'm going to go ahead and measure out our four and three quarter inches on this hose right here. Mark it up with our Sharpie. And then we'll go ahead and cut that. Go ahead and install our crossover tube here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up our upper intake clamp here. Snug that down, and then we'll repeat for the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down our Nut right here. It's a 10 millimeter. Just snug that into place. Go ahead and grab your air filter. Have your clamp set on. Slide this up into place. Let's go ahead and snug this down. I'm going to grab your cables here, line these back up, pop that into the bracket as well as this one here. Reconnect your little tab there and your positive battery terminal and we'll go ahead and snug this up.